Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia Jones if you're new here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys basically our baby shower haul, everything that we got from our friends, family, um, also some stuff that we have purchased, but this is literally everything that we got, um, everything that was on our registry. If you're new to my channel, then you probably don't know, but I am 31 weeks pregnant. My due date is May 17th of 2022. So very excited. Um, it's getting closer every day. It's already March, what the heck. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Well, we got a car seat, a car seat with a stroller combo that my grandma purchased for us a while back. Um, me and Dakota noticed that it didn't have, you know, a little headrest for um, our baby, for Coraline. And this is from my grandma and my aunt on my dad's side. One of these, basically like, <laughs> It's basically a backpack for your baby. Like you literally put your baby in it and you wear them. And it just makes carrying them a lot easier if you're going out because you don't have to use your arms. And this is the one that straps. Um, it has like the, the actual ones that strap and click because there are some that you can just tie yourself. But me and Dakota are super sketched out by those. <laughs> so yes, extremely excited for this because going to the grocery store um, when she's little, like if I have to take her by myself or just going on a walk, if I wanna, you know, take her but not put her in the stroller and take Milo, then this will come in handy. We got a ton of books, which is awesome because I loved reading growing up. I was super, like super, super into reading um, and I want my daughter to be super into reading. I think reading is knowledge and it just helps your vocabulary. It just helps literally um your communication skills and so yeah i really 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 want our daughter to enjoy reading and our, not just our daughter but you know eventually when we have more kids i want all of our children to enjoy reading so we got a bunch of books from our friends katie and chris and i'm just gonna say some of the stuff i don't remember who got what because it's a it was a lot of people a lot of people were there a lot of love was shown but yeah so if i show something in this video and it's something you purchased i'm sorry if i don't remember who's who got it a big book of berenstein bears my first baby animals bedtime storybook so this is just like a disney storybook tales of courage and kindness and this is all like the disney princesses animalia um i've actually never heard of this until my friend katie she was telling me this was something she loved to read growing up and it's one of those uh, books where it does it where every letter in the sentence starts with an A. So like for the A's, it says an armored armadillo avoiding an angry alligator. So it's just like really fun the way that the writing is. And then like for B, for example, it says beautiful blue butterflies basking by a babbling brook. So... <laughs> It just makes reading fun. We got the first Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the illustrated version. Um, my mom got this and yes, we want to, we own all the Harry Potter books, but we want to get the illustrated versions for our children because I just love that they're, that they're doing that. And I just think the books are already so enriching and so, I mean, they're Harry Potter. So <laughs> um, they're just so amazing, but like, this can help children even younger get into Harry Potter. So I love that it's illustrated and this is the first one and we want to get all of them. Goodnight Moon, Corduroy, this little book about this bear. My first I See You and it's got a little mirror in it. Bambi, Lady in the Tram, Peter Pan. I love Peter Pan. Peter Pan and Harry Potter were like my favorite growing up and then this one it says a promise for my baby and i haven't read this book so i'm definitely gonna read it honestly i want to read all these books before Coraline gets here um i'll just read them while she's still in my stomach i'll read them out loud i literally have everything just kind of like surrounding me so if i'm just reaching over it that's why breast milk storage bags um and these are freezer safe and so um i do plan on breastfeeding but i don't want to put too much pressure on myself or my body I don't know how my milk production is going to be so if i have a difficult time with the baby latching you know obviously i'm going to get help at the hospital and i will go to 
a specialist if I need to, but um, if all else fails, I also have a pump and I also plan on pumping anyways, even if I do um, breastfeed, um, I plan on pumping. Other times because yeah, I've heard just from people who've already had kids and that have breastfed that it's very mentally, emotionally, physically just draining on you. And so um, we do plan on supplement feeding her uh, formula. And so we have two different ones that we ordered that are coming in, but um, this, is my pump and I plan on using this. Then we got this diaper bag that is so cool. It's, first of all, look how cute it is. My mother-in-law got this for us, but it's huge. And if I can open it. Um, so it actually opens up and you can use it as a changing station. So if you're somewhere in public, I don't know how to do it, honestly. I will have to figure it out obviously <laughs> before Coraline gets here um but the cool thing is is it has like a pad in here and so it's so big and it stretches because you can literally lay your baby like you can lay your child in there so you have some privacy and you're not just putting her on one of those changing stations out in public love that I'm actually a nanny currently my boss is so awesome but she literally gives us so much like stuff that her daughter hasn't used because she has a six month old uh, baby girl and so um, she gave us these uh, bottles that uh, her daughter didn't didn't like and so yeah we literally got this whole set of bottles we got these I believe it was from Dakota's one of his cousins um, and these are just, they're one plus month. So once the baby's over a month, we can use them, but they're, uh, similar to the breast, which is what we want. This one's a zero month plus, and it's another anti-colic bottle. And it's just a little tiny four ounce one. We bought these from Walmart with some money that my family, um, gave us on my dad's side. So these are also some more anti-colic, um, similar to the nipple bottles. Um, similar to the breast bottles and it also has a pacifier in it but anyways so originally we were going to go with glass bottles but then our family was making a fair point that when the baby gets older obviously you don't want to use those because then the baby starts having more uh hand coordination and um is learning how to move their arms and they might grab it and try to throw it and break the bottle um or you might just drop it and so anyways we're trying to use um bpa free bottles at, at least but um yeah we originally wanted just glass because plastic is horrible for the planet but um we did decide to just go ahead and use the bpa free ones we got so many diapers too guys i'm not even going to show how many diapers we got these are some pacifier grips so these are so cute it's a little transitional sippy cup um little pacifiers these are actually for my boss so um her daughter never used these and they've been washed and sterilized it's like a little teddy bear but it's a little dog and it's got a little um little passy on it and it's so cute it easily dispenses medicine or vitamins to baby so this is really cool i've actually never seen anything like this but it's a little newbie and you can put the medicine in there and then instead of fighting your baby <laughs> trying to get it in their mouth um they'll just drink it like a bottle spoons teether toy newbie and you can put fruit in here and then it just helps with them with teething some more pacifiers some teething toys these are non-choking lead free non-toxic bpa free so these are cute they kind of look like pacifiers but they're chewing toys this one's an elephant so we have a little dog one and then we have a little elephant one those are so cute one we got every day i'm cuddling with grandma <laughs> the gerber one and they say love you and they're so cute we got these this one's a thanksgiving like a turkey and then this one's a pumpkin for halloween we also got these cute ones that are like turtleneck looking like they're kind of fancier dakota was saying <laughs> these are literally from walmart and we bought these too and they're so cute we got these from our friend Corbin, and they're a bunch of Harry Potter themed bibs. We also got this little jumper, and you put it, you clamp it onto your door, but look at how cute this is, and she can just jump in it. And we got our baby monitor, and apparently you can get the app, and you can um, 
do it from your phone. You can check on your phone also if you don't have the monitor on you. I'll insert a picture because it was on our registry on Amazon. But yeah, it's in this huge box. We haven't opened it yet because I've been waiting to film this video. We also got this baby bottle sterilizer. This is from my boss. So she actually purchased a new one and this one still worked and everything. Um, it was just a little stained and so she got a new one and she gave me her old one. Which was really nice for her we have a bottle sterilizer and she also gave us a baby baby bottle warmer and here it is this one is this is the other one from my from my boss this was also from my boss and it's a, a cute little purse it's a little toy but she said she actually has a matching one for her daughter so i thought that was so cute like this is adorable so and it has a little phone and like some keys and everything like a little bracelet so i think that's super adorable and Coraline's gonna have a lot of fun with that. We got these cute little shoes. These are adorable, like, oh my gosh. And then we got these little mittens so she doesn't scratch her face. You can't really see them because the organics thing is like blocking it, but these were on her registry. They're super cute. I think they were from my cousin and her husband. And then my mom and my aunt had actually made a diaper cake and they put some little socks, some little booties. Look at how cute these are. They're so tiny. Like, this is my hand and I have a small hand. And this is the socks, like, <laughs> these are so cute. They're adorable. Literally so many socks. These are socks and they have little rattles in them. So when Coraline starts recognizing her feet, she's gonna be so excited to play with these, like to have them on her feet. She's gonna wanna raise her feet up. These cute little ballerina ones. Oh, you know what? I think these were from our, our friend Ginger. Our friend Ginger, she actually had it made and it's all the Harry Potter houses, as you can see. And this chair also, I think originally I saw it on Amazon for like 350. It was at least $300 though. But we literally went on Facebook Marketplace and we bought it from some lady used for $80. And it feels so comfortable. It's not stiff. It's not a cheap material. Like it's, it's a nice rocking chair. And so I'm very happy we found that on Facebook Marketplace. But yeah, the chair was from my dad and my grandpa. And then this is from our friend Ginger. This cute little outfit. Look at it, oh my god. It's so cute. I'm a Gryffindor, Dakota's a Slytherin. But um, I put this Gryffindor outfit and it comes with this little, this little headband and it's so cute. So look at how adorable. This is, this is one of the cute outfits that we got from my cousin Ryan. This is from my aunt, my aunt Shannon. And it says, snuggle this muggle. Look at how cute, like snuggle this muggle, that's adorable. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm obviously a Harry Potter fan and we did our baby shower theme, Harry Potter. And then we're actually gonna do Coraline's room, Harry Potter. So, and it comes with these little pants and they have like snitches and wands and little Harry Potter glasses with the lightning bolt. And then it comes with this little headband, like, oh my gosh, she is gonna look so cute in this. So I'm super excited for her to wear that. We got some more bibs. I need to put this in our bib box. These ones are Harry Potter themed though. Also, we got so many headbands and bows, so many. So she's gonna be accessorized for sure. Look at these. These are little clip-in bows. So if I did her hair in like little pigtails, you could just clip the bows on top. Some more mittens, more headbands. <laughs> like She's gonna look so cute more headbands like oh my god baby blanket and then this is for her eyes to help with um the eye development so it's a sensory toy so and there's a couple of these so it's like four of these and they're all to help with her eye development these little shoes they look like little vans they're so cute and they're pink, they're adorable. We got a huge basket of clothes. Um, my cousin, she actually sent us a big box of hand-me-down stuff. And so I'm gonna go through and wash all that. And then I'm also gonna wash all the new clothes that we got, all the new outfits, but literally, and all the socks and everything, I'm washing everything. Cause I'm just, I don't know, I feel like you should. <laughs> um, and I also washed all of her other new stuff that we had bought from like Walmart and that 
um, other people had got for us. I'll insert a picture because this is a really big box. It's not heavy, but it'll just take up the whole frame. Like, but it's a gym and ball pit and we got this from our friends, uh, Rachel, Rachel, <laughs> Rachel and Lane. My aunt Shannon, she also bought a bookshelf that was on our registry. I'll insert a picture here, but we haven't built it yet because I was waiting to film this video before we started um, setting everything up. And so I'm definitely gonna put that together and uh, get all the books arranged on it because we got a bunch of books from the baby shower and then we've also bought her a bunch of books. And so Coraline's gonna have such a good little library when she comes. My aunt bought this cute rocking chair or little rocker and it's a unicorn. It's so cute. It's a sound machine, a nightlight. Um, if you're a first time parent, then yeah, on TikTok, uh, people, <laughs> people are like, this is how you know you're a first time parent. If this is on your registry, well, we got one. <laughs> Cousin Ryan got us this little carrying thing but we went ahead and put some diapers in there and some wipes and this just makes it easier if you're gonna go room to from one room to another um and you need to change your baby so we have that my mother-in-law got us the little growth chart that we wanted and obviously it's harry potter my bump is taking up so much of the frame but it's Harry Potter. It's so cute. I'll insert a picture so you guys can see it better off my Amazon re registry. Whew, I'm back. We also got the mirror. You can see how my bed is not made and everything. Um, but we got the baby auto mirror. So when Coraline's sitting in her um, car seat, we can see her from the front. Got this from my cousin, Ryan and my aunt. And it sings, you are my sunshine. And my grandpa actually used to sing this to me, so super sweet. Also, elephants are just so cute. I love elephants. Then some baby ear swabs. A first touch baby gift set, and it has, um, you know, shampoo, conditioner, or shampoo and conditioner. It has baby wash, lotion, um, diaper rash, cream, so all that good stuff baby washcloths, some aquifer. We do have our windows tinted, but this will just help even more because we live in Texas. And if you're from here, you know how hot it gets in the summer. So this will be so nice for Coraline so she doesn't get too hot in the back or the sun's not in her eyes bothering her. Here's some more diaper rash cream, a nail care set, Frida baby. So for washing your baby's hair, her scalp. This is a nursery care and grooming kit. So it has literally like everything you need to help groom your baby. Face and body lotion, and then some shampoo and body wash. These are fragrance free, they're the Honest brand. Hello Baby, these are plant-based um, baby shampoo and body wash and baby lotion. So body wash, some more diaper rash cream and lotion, and we have some body wash with it. A booger getter. Nasal aspirator is the actual term. <laughs> oh, but look at how cute. They have a little glitter on them. They're so cute. Thermometer. The newborn. I just hit my camera, but the newborn to toddler bathtub. Because this video is taking so long to film and I didn't realize how much stuff we had accumulated. I'm not gonna actually show all of the really cute clothes we got for Coraline from everybody because it's a huge box and then like I said my cousin also sent us a big box of clothes too just like hand-me-downs and stuff and so I'm not gonna show all the clothes because that would just take too much time this video would end up being like an hour long the last couple things that we got this I love you forever book I don't know if you haven't read this this is a classic I remember reading this in elementary and crying because <laughs> it's so so good um, it's literally this little boy growing up and his mom always sings him this song i love you forever i like you for a long always as long as i'm living my baby you'll be and so we see the baby grow up and then i'm not gonna ruin it for you if you haven't read it you you need to get this book because it's really good but my aunt got us got Coraline that book and then this is the wonderful things you will be and our friend corbin got this for Coraline. so like i said she's gonna have a really nice little library growing up. This stuffed little head wig, look how cute. And this is from our friend Corbin and she's a little staticky right now, but she's a snowy barn owl. So what do you expect? 
This was one of the absolute sweetest things that we got from the shower and this was from my aunt shannon she actually made this and she um made it out of my grandpa's uh t-shirts so yeah my grandpa uh, growing up was uh my father figure and so this was a really special gift and it really means a lot so that was my dog yawning but this is the little teddy bear. They called it a Jerry bear because that's what my grandpa's name was, was Jerry. So this is made out of his t-shirts. And the pink is actually made out of my grandma's uh, t-shirt because him and my grandma had um, some matching Hawaiian shirts. And so, yeah, this is a teddy bear made out of my grandparents' shirts. So super thoughtful, super sweet. Literally made me cry. It was just it was just one of the sweetest things that i've ever been given so um thank you to my aunt shannon if you're watching this that concludes this video thank you so much for watching if you watched it all the way through i know it was really long um we also have our crib and our mattress and then we have the bassinet we have it set up and everything we have basically i want to say everything i don't want to jinx it but we have everything for Coraline. we are so excited to meet our daughter it's literally insane to think that she'll be here you know um within a couple weeks this whole pregnancy has just gone by so fast and it's literally insane but we're super thankful for all the love we've been shown and given and for Coraline uh that that's been shown and given for her and she's not even here yet so thank you so much if you came to our shower thank you so much for sending love our way and thank you for watching this video if you watched it all the way through. I'm going to be posting all kinds of videos about my pregnancy. I'm going to be posting a birth vlog when uh, Coraline does make her way into this world. So if that interests you, make sure you subscribe. Like this video. Give me a comment down below if you are an expecting mother. Let me know when your due date is. And if you're a first time mom and this was helpful at all for you or gave you some ideas that you want to put on your registry, leave me a comment down below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.